yesterday. The Braves losing streak slipped to six games, but now the Braves have Max Fried going, and CJ, he wasn't great his last time out in his return from the IL stint. Hopefully tonight he can get the Braves back on track. So Dakota Hudson has had a rough ride this year, actually released by the organization, cleared waivers, so he took the assignment to Albuquerque where he made three starts down there. Jorge Soler who had a home run in last night's ball game that tied the game at five. He'll lead it off against Hudson. Payoff pitch to Soler. Hit hard base hit. Good strike for the Braves. And this is the go to pitch for Dakota Hudson. And that is that two seam fastball still pretty decent movement there but in a three two count for Soler he can sit on that pitch and drives it right into left field. Austin Riley. Bounces this to short see if the Rockies can turn it there's one and there's two good job by Brendan Rodgers the low flip from Tovar in his haste to get it to Rodgers and he had to go submarine style the first Corey. Now he's facing Marcelo Zuna. Got in uh, the uh, hands a little bit, and it's a weak fly ball left. So, a good start in his return for Dakota Hudson. And it's Max Fried since coming off the IL. This will be his second start. Look how great he has been on the road with that 2.77 ERA. Broken bat. Austin Riley's got it. The bat went further than the ball, but either way, there's one out. Brendan Rodgers hitting in the two hole with Charlie Blackman a left handed batter not in the starting lineup tonight this ball lobbed into right center field it's going to find an empty piece of real estate so one out single for Rogers Brenton Doyle hit homer number 20 last night this ball is going to sneak through that left side so Brenton Doyle is aboard Rogers to second two on for Ryan McMahon Checks the runner at second. The 3 2 curveballs inside for ball four, and that loads the bases for Chris Bryant. And he strikes him out. Goes to the curveball to get things done. That was a great curveball, and what a good pitch after the two fastballs inside. They were in, in, like I mentioned, and that curveball just pulled the string. Elias, a couple of hits, uh, including a double. He knocked in one of the six runs last night. 0 oh, 2. Did he go? Yes, he did. Max Freed bounces back to get Bryant and Diaz. It's a scoreless ball game between the Braves and the Rockies. It'll be Tolia, Goodman, and Hilliard due up for Colorado. There's a 3 1 pitch coming to Tolia. And Michael ripped that to left field. It's a base hit. Leaping attempt made by Arcia, the shortstop, but that ball was hammered to left field. By Michael Tolia, leadoff man is aboard for the Rockies here in the second. There's a line drive up the middle. That's into center field. It's a base hit. Tolia is going to hit second and get to third base. And holding it first is Hunter Goodman. In at the ball hard, but right back up the middle. And the Rockies have a little something cooking. They got first and third, and nobody out. Facing a former Brave, Sam Hilliard. They had Sam in Atlanta last year for a little while. Oh, oh this guy's hit well. Sam Hilliard with his fourth home run. Three nothing Rockies. Freed threw a breaking ball, that big sloppy curve ball. It was certainly going to score Tolly a one way or another from third. Instead, all three men touched the dish. 3 0 Rockies into the top of the third inning. 7 8 9 coming up with the Braves. Ramon Laureano now, the center fielder. Is that going to get up the middle? Well, it's stopped by Rodgers, but he throws it way over the head of Tolia. Now, Laureano also kind of awkwardly hit the bag. Hopefully, he's okay. And he should be headed to second as that ball went over the dugout and looked like it hit the net. Talked about his walk issues, and that's his second free pass so far here tonight. He missed again. Another walk. And the bases are loaded. Last 10 ball games, Austin's been hitting just over 380. Man, he's been tearing the cover off the ball altogether. Payoff pitch. He missed. He walked it. Braves are on the board as Laureano will come home. It's a great at bat from Austin Riley to show the patience, right? You're sitting here. You know what's going on with the team. You did a good job of not chasing some of those pitches outside of the strike zone. Now it's Marcelo Zuna to the play. 2 2. Swung on and missed a huge strikeout. A frustrated Asuna throws his back. What a time for Dakota's first punch out of the evening. Now here's Matt Olson. Looking for something big. Needs something big. Payoff pitch. Matt Olson hits it high. 
Matt Olson hits it deep. It's a grand slam. Right off the phasing of the third deck. It's his eighth career grand slam, and it comes at a huge time for the Braves. Are we in Braves country right now? There are a lot of fans cheering here in Colorado, and good for Matt Olson. Well, that is a lot of built-up frustration that Matt Olson just took out. 5-3 Braves, bottom of the third inning. 3-0 pitch, Diaz will take that ball four. Four pitch walk to Diaz. And now to the part of the order that gave Max Freed trouble back in the second inning. 7-8-9, here's Michael Tolia. Ball four, back-to-back -back walks. So Diaz to second, and Tolia to first. We'll see what Sam Hilliard could do with the home run his first time up. That's off the glove. That's a swing and a miss, and it went off the glove of Sean Murphy. So both runners move up. Diaz at third, Tolley at second. Big Mike can run. This has popped up though. Retreating is Whit Merrifield. And he gets called up. Oh, yeah. So there. It bounced. Oh yeah. It's a it's a hit. The Rockies have tied it up on a ball that could have been caught seemingly by four different players in Atlanta uniform. The ball was in the air way too long to not be an out. I know it's a big field and you're playing a little deeper, but one of those two outfielders needs to be able to take control there and get under that thing. Braves five, Rockies five. Into the top of the fifth inning. Oh, Dominic stopped totally out. To Noah Davis, well done. Big bite, flashing leather once again. And here's Marcelo Zuna, fly ball to left and a strikeout. Marcelo Zuna lifts this in the air to deep left field. And you can kiss that baby goodbye. Another big fly for the Big Bear. Braves take the lead as Ozuna blasts one way off into the sky. And you know he wanted that in the worst way after that last at bat when he had an opportunity with the bases loaded, just missed the grand slam. He did not miss here. It's a 6 5 lead for the Braves. are in the top of the sixth inning. Goodman over. Boy, that drops. Wow. Outfielders having issues tonight, and they will be at the corners. It seemed like Goodman was never comfortable going after that baseball. She just did not read the spin. As he came across, it looked like he had a beat on it, but this thing was dying, and it died on him quickly. So here's Solaire with two out. 2-2. Two, two. Reaches for it, and slaps it to right field. The Braves take advantage of the defensive miscue, and they've got an 8-5 lead. Solaire delivers. It's an 8-5 lead for the Braves. Here is Sam Hilliard. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This ball is launched to deep center field, and it is going to take a short hop off the wall. Goodman to third, they get a stop sign. Big Sam with a line double. He's now three for three. Two doubles in the three-run bomb. Top of the order now, Ezekiel Tovar has gone 0 for three after going 0 for five last night with four strikeouts. And that's going to work down the left field line. Goodman scores, Hilliard scores, double for Tovar. It's a one-run game. Three consecutive hits for the Rockies. They've cut the lead to one. This is down the right field line. Tobar got a green light. And no throw. We're all even at eight. Brent Doyle coming through. The sophomore magic of Tobar and Doyle. Marcelo Zuna got an 8-8 ball game in the seventh. Out toward right field. Well struck. Off the wall. Ozuna hit a homer in the fifth. He barely missed one there in the seventh, and he's at second base with a double. Matt Olson gave the Braves the lead with a grand slam in the third inning, but hardly a knockout blow. This thing's gone back and forth. This ball game is about to be untied. Matt Olson has done it again, and it's 10-8 Atlanta. That was nailed out of here. A laser off the bat of Olson, and it's another go-ahead home run for Matt. This time a two-run shot. How about Matt Olson doing it against off-speed pitches? 2023 Matt Olson has been activated. That's a fair ball to Matt. Do it. Do it. Look at that. How good a play was that one? Terrific play at third by McMahon, throwing that well into foul ground. Been a wild ride here in Denver. Braves have a 10-8 lead into the top of the eighth inning. Jorge Soler now. He lifts this in the air to right field. And it just gets out of here. Bouncing into the seats. Homers in back-to-back -back games.
for Soler. It's 11 to 8. Right on top of the out of town scoreboard. It took a hop right on top of the yellow line and skipped out of here. Into the bottom of the ninth here at Coors Field. Braves leading the Rockies 11 to 8. One comes the closer for Atlanta, one of the best in the game. It's Rizel Iglesias. He struck him out. This time looking. Well, what we're talking about, he's probably thinking and trying to fight off off speed. And instead, he gets that fastball that is dotted right on the corner. Good location. One more, Iglesias. He battles Diaz. This should do it. The Braves are back in the win column. The six-game skid is over. As the Braves even up this series with an 11-8 victory tonight over the Rockies, just the second time all year they've had a double-digit run output. This is just a really, really good team and necessary win for the Atlanta Braves tonight.